who was murdered in Fort Hood. She was killed by these people who say that they are military and they are here to protect this so-called country of theirs. The reason we're here today is because this event is called the Farce of July. And you can go back in history and you can recognize that for generations they have lied to us about who they really are. The reality is, is that when white people, Europeans and Italians, when they arrived on this shore, on our shores, they continually killed our people, raped and maimed, and took from our people. So today, if you look around in the environment, our environment is not healthy. You and I have to wear a mask, you and I get sick because for so long they have brought their diseases and their pandemics here. And they themselves are a pandemic. And I'm glad we have so many relatives here. There are several things that I want to say, but I'm gonna to try to keep it short. But I want to today recognize the Lakota people. So if we can all raise our hand for the Lakota people. We acknowledge that they too are under oppressive regime, regimes in North and South Dakota. And that they go around and they mark their space here. The non-indigenous settlers, they mark their space and they carve into rocks sacred to our people. And they take from our waters and our trees, our shores. They destroy our landscapes. They continue to do that. So today when you march, don't just think about this farce of July. Think about the whole narrative of how much bullshit they've been telling you. They've been telling you many lies. And many of you have accepted that. Malcolm X once said to a crowd of African American people, some of you think you came over on the Mayflower. And some of you believe that narrative, that you are somehow a part of their system. Their system is dangerous and violent, and it continues to be. They destroy who we are, they take our language, and they take our children. And they continue to do so. And I want, I want to call you out and say that we must be better organized as indigenous people. 
to those of you that are here from Black Lives Matter, organize with us, stand with us, because Black Lives Matter. And just the other day, Black Lives stated that the Los Angeles Police Department is one of the most violent in the country, if not the most violent police regimes around. And I ask you to hold up your fist because many of us, many of us that grew up with Russell Means and Dennis Banks and Stokey Carmichael and all these brothers and sisters who raised their fist during the time they thought that their lives didn't matter. Their lives mattered because we are here today. They kept us, they kept this narrative of ours, not theirs, and they knew that resistance was possible and that resistance is necessary. And so you are here today to resist all of that. Don't just go home and kick back, but organize and dismantle this system that continues to destroy our families. Because I have said in many public speeches in schools and universities that we must burn this down. We must take it down. Because the only way you end white supremacy is to burn their books and their narrative. And that's very hard and difficult to do because we're caught up in this capitalistic system. I get it. But for many of us, we're just trying to survive. We're trying to eat. We're trying to feed our children. But when you're home, educate them. Like this young boy here. Educate them. Tell them that resistance is possible so that they carry on our story. Thank you very much.